Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing great. So today we're going to look at a nice quality of life uh, feature in Unreal Engine, which uh, many of you might have already used it, but uh, let me show you. So as we all know, like we can like do some filtering in Content Browser, where it helps us to uh, filter out certain data based on what we want from the Content Browser. For example, if I want to filter out FX, it shows us this, all the FX which are there based on the folder which you select. And here I have selected uh, the content folder. And similarly, we can filter out any animation if we have in our project or it, any media or any sound, say for example, something like that. So Epic has given already some nice little filters here for us to work with. But what if uh, we want to use our own filter? So now in Unreal Engine, uh, we can create our own custom filters. As you can see, I have already created some of my own custom filters. So let's see how that works. So as we know, like if we uh, need to filter out anything or search anything in Content Browser, we can go here directly and type, uh, say for example, static fish, and we can get the all these options uh, like about what type of static mesh uh, do we want to filter out say for example if we want only static mesh it will give us this kind of selection and all and we have some kind of syntax uh, like search syntax which we use for this one so in this case it's type static mesh so now one good thing is uh, instead of uh, like searching it like this and all we can do one thing we can save our search so here is a little uh, add button here, if you see. So based on whatever you have searched in this uh, dialog box, uh, you can actually save that search. So once you click it, you have to go save as custom filter. And it will open this window where you can see the uh, filter string uh, by which it is uh, searching. And this level, this level will be the, uh, like what the user will see as the, uh, like the filter option. So here we can rename it to say, uh, static mesh or say SM uh, in, in our case and we can always color code it however we want and you do click and apply and as you see it creates a nice little searchable uh, like filter uh, nice little filter so if you can remove this and now if you hit this it will filter out the same thing which you have searched it here so it, this this is very handy to create a custom filter very quickly uh, based on how you want it but uh, say for example, uh, if we have static mesh like this, where uh, in a project, say you are uh, working with a particular project uh, structure where we have to maintain certain naming conventions. Say for example, uh, normally we use SM underscore for static mesh. So as you can see, there are uh, SM underscore static mesh, a lot of static mesh here, but there are also some static mesh which does not follow that rule here, which are like some other static mesh uh, in that project. So what if you want to do that kind of like particular search based on that, that is also possible. So similarly, if we go here and search for static mesh, this one, you can do an and operation and uh, like search for like say SM dot dot dot. So there will be three dots. So this means uh, mean like a prefix of any uh, naming the text fields. Uh, so SM underscore. Similarly, if you want to search for a suffix, it will be dot 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 and then like whatever the suffix is uh, say for example albedo or something like that so in this case we'll go for sm dot 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 so what it will do is it will search for the static mesh and it will search for uh, the text field which uh, where uh, the naming should start with a prefix of sm sm so here as we can see uh, we it it got filtered based on the static mesh which has the sm uh, like prefix so this is a very nice way of uh, filtering it out here and you can always go and save as a custom static mesh so you can make it like sm uh, say project so for project you you want this filter you can always like create a filter like this so this will be like a whole uh, static mesh it will show up but if you go here it will show up only the static mesh based on the naming conventions which you have searched for so this is very handy so now let's uh, let us look into another good option which uh, 
is there now in Unreal, which is like in Outliner, uh, because the search option was previously there in Outliner, but now we can create filter uh, in in our Outliner as well, because we all know when uh, we are working on a big level or something, uh, a lot of uh, actors get stacked into this Outliner, and it so like occasionally it gets very difficult to search for those actors uh, and all. So it it's a good feature to have some kind of filters out here. So as you can see, I have already created certain filters which I was testing. Say for example, if I click lights, it will uh, filter out anything which has light uh, in, in its name. Uh, then if I go and click static mesh, it will filter out any of the static mesh actor we have in our outline. So it's the simple, it's pretty much the same how we created it here. Uh, so say for example, if we search for static mesh, it will definitely give us the search of the static mesh actor. And here also you can see, you can click here and you will get the same option of uh, saving it as your custom filter. And in that way you will get a uh, filters like this. Uh, one good thing here is like sometimes what we uh, what happens is, uh, say for example, we are doing uh, look days and lighting. So we need some of the things which are not similar actors, but many different actors uh, as a group which we want. So mostly for look development and lighting, uh, we use directional light, sky light, sky atmosphere, uh, fogs, so post-process, volume, etc. So in that case, uh, if you see, I have already created uh, something like this, where you can create a filter which contains all of those different uh, type of actors. Uh, so that is also possible. So it, it's similar to, uh, say for example, how uh, you search for filter, say if you search for uh, directional light so here uh, like uh, you have to use uh, an operator which is called or which is this one and then search for static uh, you know we are going for volume say then again space operator then we want fog uh, then skylight then sky atmosphere so in this way you can search and if you see like yeah uh, if this is the uh, this is all the actors which you need uh, based on the field then you just go here click and uh, like just to name it like uh, like look Dave and then you can create an apply and there you go if you once you clear it so so by default you will have all the static measures and, and everything but if you click your look Dave uh, the new filter which you created it will list out all those things so this is another very good way where we can uh, use this uh, filtering option in outlining however i uh, came across one uh, issue uh, though i'm not sure if it is only i am facing uh, if you are creating any custom filter say for example static mesh here and uh, say sound uh, here i have sound uh, if i choose both uh, or, or multiple custom filters then it is not uh, displaying any uh, asset here uh, so that is something which i uh, found out it's not working for me. any one of you have uh, found out that solution or if it is something you are also facing please let me know in the comments so hope uh, this will be helpful to a lot of you guys thank you uh, until next time uh, goodbye